Hello guys, let's talk about HTML table borders. Okay, we in the previous video we talked about HTML tables, how to create a table in HTML. So now we are going to take our time in this whole video talk about borders. Okay, how to apply or specify borders to a HTML table. So uh we already talked about how to create a table you have to use the table tag here and then you have the table row tag the table header tag here to create your headers and then you have the table data tag to actually create the cells in which you are going to display your the actual data and so this is how the table you know by default is going to show on the web page so HTML tables can have borders of different styles and shapes and and all of that. So if you want to add a border to your HTML table, you can use the CSS border property or you can also use uh, the attribute border, for example. But what is recommended is to use the CSS border property. So first of all, let me show you the border attribute. So you come here in your table opening tag and you can write border equal and then you specify a value here. So now you can see we are having our border uh, showing on the on the web page. But what is recommended as I'm telling you is to use the CSS property to create or to specify your border. And that's what we are going to see in this video. Okay, so you have to use that particular CSS border property on the table, the header, and the cell element. One way to do that, we will come to style here, and we will say table. So if we say that we apply this to the table only, say border one pixels, solid black like this. So now you see what will happen. So just the table is going to be surrounded, okay? But we don't have any border applied to our header or to our cells. So what we have to do is we're going to add the table header here to apply the border to that. So now if you add table header, now you can see that your header are now surrounded by borders. If you want to apply the border to your cells, so you are going to add the TD or table data tag here. And now you can see that uh even your cells are being surrounded by your by by the borders okay so what we can see here is that okay we have double borders showing on the screen so in order to avoid having double borders like what is showing displaying on the screen right now um we have to set another css property which is the border collapse property okay so we will say border collapse and then we will say collapse like this so so this is going to make the borders collapse into a single border okay and now you can see how it is showing on the screen so that's how you can work with borders um let's say another thing that you can do uh, is that you can style your border okay uh for example if you you set our background color for each cell and we are going to give the border the color uh, white for example okay and uh, we will see what will happen so we'll come here instead of saying black like this we will say white 
we will, tr we will increase the size so we'll say two pixels like this so now if you say white it seems like the border are not showing okay the border is not showing because you know the background color of the web page is also white so now it can be confusing um, another thing that we can do here to actually um, see that the color of our border is actually white is that we're going to change the background color of our cells so we will apply this to the table header and the table data elements so we say th comma td and in here we are going to specify the background color like this and we will say that this particular background color would be 86d5d5 D5, like this and then we say semicolon so now you can see how this is showing and you can see that the border is actually showing white you know on the screen uh, we can also um, work around the um, table radius you know for example if we want to round uh, the table borders for example uh, we can use what uh, we call a border radius for example so with the border radius property the borders are going to be rounded um, in their corners so let me show you how to do that so we are going to remove the border collapse here and we will say border radius and say five pixels and then semicolon so now you can see that you know the border is getting rounded in order to see the effect very clearly we are going to you know give it the color of black the border to be black here and now you can see how our borders are being rounded so if i increase the border radius size here you will see what will happen okay so now here our borders are being rounded at their corners okay so what we can do here is that for example we can um, remove table here from our CSS uh, properties and see what will happen so now only the cells the headers and the cells are going to get rounded uh, you know the, the the borders are going to be rounded because the CSS properties are no longer applied on the table tag and um, that's it that we can actually talk about another thing that we will uh, talk about that will be uh, border the border styles okay so another property that will be border style CSS property you can use that to actually um, change or set the appearance of your border let's say for example here we will say border uh i find style that would be so as for this one we will say dotted okay so this is going to set the appearance of the border to be dotted so just like it's showing on the screen right now okay so the border style can you know have various values for example dotted dotted is one of the values that you can specify or you can say dashed for example 
you know, if you say dashed, this is how it's going to show. Okay, so if we say solid, you know, solid is what we specified here. All right, we can still specify that in our border style property like this. Okay, so just like uh, you might have understood is that you can actually set the border style directly from the border um, the border property here. For example, in here, if I said dotted like this, now you will see that the style of the border is going to be dotted. So you can set the style from here using the border property or you can actually um, uh, let me say you can actually have a border style property here and then you know set your style by yourself so you can say double for example so now you can see how the style of the border is going to change uh, another one will be to say groove here for example or you can say um, rage okay another thing we can talk about let me just increase increase the size of the border here so if we are, I would say five So if we say um, inset, for example, this is also going to change. Okay, inset, you can also say outset. Or one thing you can do is that in the border style here, you can say that you do not want any style. So if you say you do not want any style, this is how it's going to show. Or you can say that you want the border style to be hidden. And this is what is going to show. So maybe we are going to leave it as dashed, for example, like this. And that's how it's going to show. Okay, you can also work around border colors. Um, so we say border hyphen color and then specify the color of your border. So we will say, for example, 6, 8, A4, E5. Okay, so now you see the color of your border is going to change. So the same thing, you can specify the color of the border directly using the border hyphen color CSS property, or you can use the border CSS property and then come here specif to specify the color. So that's if I remove border color property here and then come up here and say, red for example you will see that you know the color of the border is going to change or i can directly use the border hyphen color and then specify the color of the of our, our of my border in here so guys that's what i wanted to discuss and tell you talk to you about html table borders how to specify your borders how to play around them how to uh you know have to specify the color of your border to specify the style of your border and uh, if you want to round the corners of uh, the the borders you can do that using the border radius css uh, property and and all of that 
If you have any question, feel free to write in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's meet in the next video.